Jenny here. Today we are going to make a basic soup recipe. Now this recipe that I found has, this is the, like, the base, this is the basic soup, and then they had four different options of add-ins to make the soup a little bit different each time that you eat it. So you can either do that with the full batch, you can do that with each bowl full that you eat, or however you would like it. So, let's get started. For this recipe, we are going to need one onion, four cloves of garlic, I'm going to be using minced garlic, two tablespoons of olive oil, two carrots, two celery sticks, one turnip, two cups of green beans cut in the one inch pieces, four cups of vegetable broth, quarter head of cabbage, half a teaspoon of thyme, salt and pepper to taste, two potatoes, and two cans of diced tomatoes. First we are going to chop up all our vegetables and get those prepped and ready to go. As you saw in cutting up the vegetables, I kept the onions separate because we are going to cook those first. So you want yourself kind of a big pot, soup pot, a big pot. You can end up cooking it in here, but um, add about your tablespoon of oil over medium heat. We're going to cook the onions until they are translucent. Alright, these are getting soft, we're getting a little bit see-through. That's the translucent is. So we need our four cloves of garlic. It's about four teaspoons if you're using um, minced garlic. And I want to cook that for about another minute or two. We're going to add in all our other vegetables and again cook it for about another two minutes. Just saute them. Just enough to... Transfer this all to a crock pot. In our crock pot, we are going to put our vegetable broth. <laughs> sure, we will. <laughs> oh, goodness, come on. <laughs> Try to avoid some splashing. <laughs> All right, and our two cans of tomatoes, which we need to open.
time. Salt and pepper. I'm just going to try to go with about the same as what I'm doing with the others. At the time, about a half a, half a teaspoon of each. Because besides the vegetable taste, there aren't any other seasonings in there. So your vegetables are what's going to give you all your taste in here. Okay, now we should put our vegetables in. Depending on how much room you have on the top, I've got just about an inch. You can put some more um, broth, or what I like to do too is even just take my container and I'll put some water in there so I can rinse out what's in the container. Um, this will have some broth flavoring in here. You can add a little bit more. So you want four to six cups of the broth in there. One of these containers is four cups. And I know that my crock pot usually holds just about four cups. So now we put it on, you can either go low or high. Low is seven to eight hours, high is um, four to six. So I'm putting on high so I can eat it sooner than later. And we will see you when it's all done. Well, the basic soup recipe is done. It's still hot. <laughs> Uh, I went for six hours. For some reason, again, every time I make potatoes, or I add potatoes to soup in my crock pot, they take forever to cook. And I keep kind of forgetting that to try to cut them smaller before I put them in. But I cut them the size that I usually make like mashed potatoes with, so I wouldn't think that would be too big, but I guess for soup it is. Well, this is hot. Hold on. <laughs> I've also never had a turnip before, so when I was cutting it, it kind of seemed like a kohlrabi. It smelled like kohlrabi, and as I was cutting off the skin, the texture was like a kohlrabi. So we'll see how that goes. Um, there's lots of good stuff in here with the beans and the cabbage and the uh, tomatoes and all that. So let's see. Let's try. Let's try a piece of that turnip. Let me get a carrot in there too. Try to get everything. Hey, crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Too. <laughs> Let's see how this is. Mm. Well, there's a lot of flavor. It's really good. I'm surprised, but so as I said, um, the soup has the recipe had four different options of how you could kind of change up the ingredients a little bit, or I should say add extra ingredients to make it be just a little bit of a different way. So I will put that all down um, in the recipe down in the description below. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had a turnip, if you've ever had turnip and soup, <laughs> maybe what your favorite soup is. If you've had a basic, basic soup kind of like this before or not. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. You guys, keep it positive. Make it a great day. Bye-bye.